Welcome to Odd Jobs. Uh, the accompanying clip is from a job we did in the summertime. Uh, we had to wire up a wall sconce to a light switch that was on an exterior wall by the front door, and it was quite a ways away. Uh, because of the way that the house was made, built, a single story, no access to the roof above, uh, we decided to run the wire down through the floor. And this is what we had to deal with. Indeed, it was an odd job. Okay, so uh, in the crawl space, we dropped the wire down through the floor. Uh, originally, we thought we might get lucky and be in the uh, the full size, full height area, but uh, turns out we're not. Uh, Rio was thinking of coming down here himself, but uh, he's he's got 60 pounds on me, and uh, I guess when you're a skinny little guy, uh, you get these kinds of jobs. It's all about confined spaces and. You know, doing what you got to do. Cobb's webs were uh, were challenging, but uh, I found this old axe handle, and uh, I've been clearing cobwebs with that as we go along. Uh, uh, haven't found anything exciting. No rodents. No uh, animals of any kind. I've been down here. There's no spoor. It smells clean and dry, which is uh, which is what we want. So I don't think this house is any. Uh, problem holding or keeping the water out uh, let's see if you can see where I came from here let's see I don't know if the, the, the lights good there's no light at the end of the tunnel eventually at the other end there is a uh, there is an access I'm probably uh, 20 feet into the crawl and uh, it's all that we're after here now I drop down a fish line and I see it here, right where this little, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. It's, it, it, there's a little hole there that I can crawl down into and, uh, and work a bit more comfortably. Uh, all right. When I get down there and get the wire pulled over there, we'll, uh, we'll continue some more. Oh, okay. So, uh, I got the wire up through the hole. I don't know if we can see it here. The configuration is kind of messed up, but that's that's what it is. So we're just going to fish it up the rest of the way. And then as I work my way out, I'm going to staple this up to the rafters. Uh, I got to... I just want to keep it from laying on the ground because not that anybody's ever going to get down here. I can just see the 340-pound home inspector crawling underneath this space to check to see if the wire has been fastened every six feet like it's supposed to by code so, uh, all right. a couple of staples will hold it up just like that all right okay now i'm gonna try and make my way back out let's uh let's see what we can do here okay so when you're in old houses these are the kinds of things that you find in crawl spaces. Looks like an old microfilm or microfiche, microfilm reader. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of garbage all over the place. Stuff people left behind. Bins. There's an old sump pump. Uh, all the excess plumbing. Bricks they decided they didn't use. Heating vents that are you know, were used, not used. All kinds of wild and wonderful things. At any rate, we got to, we got lots going on in on here. Okay, I uh, I made it to the exit, which is right there, and uh, I'm going out. Hey.